In this short series of videos, we're going to be looking at using Photoshop to create this album cover. It's simple, but professional and effective, and you can see that it's made up of three different parts. We've got the front cover over here, we've got the back cover, and we've also got the spine in the middle. And what this does, it means that if it was folded, we could put that into a CD case if we were going to make it for a particular artist, band, or whatever. And in this particular video, we're going to be looking at creating, first of all, the actual document itself in the right dimensions for a CD case. And we're also going to be looking at creating this gradient effect background where it goes from black at the top through the greys then and gradually gets lighter till we get to white. And that's called a gradient effect. So let's get started. So on Photoshop, if I go to File and New, it's going to bring up the options for my new document and the first thing we need to do is name it we're going to call this album cover and the width of the document in centimeters and it's essential that you choose centimeters change that to 25 the height is going to be 12 centimeters and the resolution in pixels per inch is 200 and that's everything you need to do for this document. So name it, change the width, the height, and the resolution, and press OK. And there's our document. Now, as you can see with my document here, I've got these red guides in the middle to separate the different sections of the document. And that's really, really simple. If you go to the Move tool at the top of the toolbar here and click on that, you can see we've got these rulers down the left-hand side here to show the height of the document and along the top to show the width. And all you need to do when you have the Move tool selected is click on the ruler anywhere down here and drag along till you can see at the top that you have got to 12 centimeters and let go. And there's your guide. Your guide will probably be blue. Now, if you click on the ruler again and drag across, this time to 13 because I want it to be one centimeter wide, the spine, there we have it. And that's how you set up your document. So now then, for the gradient background, what we need to do is over here on the toolbar, I've got the gradient tool. It's just underneath the eraser tool. And if I click on there, I get this option at the top where I can change a few different things. But actually at the moment, if you click on the first option, you can see that it has the option where it goes from white to black. So I'm just gonna click on that one. And all I do is go to the top and click and drag down to the bottom and let go. Now you can see that's my gradient, but it's actually the wrong way around at the moment. So all I'm going to do is undo that by doing Control and Z. And then I'm just going to do it the opposite. Drag it from the bottom to the top, like so. And that's literally all you need to do for the first part. So make sure you've got that completed first, separate your document into different sections, and do a gradient background. Look at the next video to see what we're going to do next.